Hello, my dear friends, and happy Thanksgiving. Um, it is Black 40 Friday morning, and I have coffee because I am still waking up. But I am so happy that you have tuned in. Um, I ordered the Mercury, the limited edition Mercury holiday candles from Kringle, which were due to be poured and then shipped in late November. And along with them, I ordered a whole range of um, daylights, <laughs> which if you know Kringle, the daylights are basically like double the size of a tea light. And most of the daylights that I ordered were brand new from their holiday um, collection, their holiday line 2022, um, because most of them I wasn't really sure about and I really just wanted to smell them in a daylight form. And because the special order didn't ship until November, I'm just getting it now, but it is Black Friday and most of these are on sale. Many of them are considerably on sale. And so I definitely wanted to get this video up right now so that you could take advantage if you wanted to. This holiday line, I have seven tea lights for you. This holiday line is special. Um, when I get seven tea lights, or more than that from Kringle, which is what I usually do, um, I don't expect to like more than about three, maybe four of them. I'm usually wild about one or two um, and then like a couple others and don't like another couple. And holiday is weird too because how many cinnamon clove candles can you like or appreciate or want to burn? Um, how many pine candles can you really take, right? I feel like there's a very limited spate of holiday scents um, that Kringle has plowed and over plowed. Um, and so to be perfectly honest, I was either kind of weirded out by some of these scent combinations looking at them online, or I just didn't expect, you know. Anyway, I'm burying the lead. I loved all of them. This is such an intriguing holiday line in that each candle is really unexpected and you don't have like five pine candles that smell relatively the same, etc., or ditto, cinnamon clove or whatever else. Every candle is amazing and there is one or two that are challenging, we'll say challenging for me at least, but even the challenging ones I had to respect as fragrances, they were just so amazing. Okay, so, and I, I missed one of my little daylights. So actually I have eight daylights. <laughs> They're all in a line now. They're in no um, special order, except that I have saved the very best for last. So please do not leave this video before you have viewed the very final contribution. All right, and I have cheat notes here because every single one of them was complicated and I wanna make sure that I'm getting them out to you. Major disclaimer. Um, because they're daylights, not only is this a cold open, which is what I call when you open a candle cold and you smell it. Um, obviously, there are things that you're going to pick up on that once once they are burned, you're also going to be, be able to ascertain burn quality, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so there's really only so much that you can kind of um, evaluate or ascertain fairly from a cold open. And that is even more the case with a daylight because you don't even have an entire robust candle and you're kind of going off of a little mini candle impression in terms of the scent. So major disclaimer out of the way, many of these may burn and be something completely different. Um, and this is just my first take. So Take that with a grain of salt. Okay, so first up, I've got Christmas in the city here, and I'm gonna kind of take it up to the camera and maybe turn it around a little bit. Okay, so Christmas time in the city, oh gosh, is this beautiful like periwinkle shade of wax. Can you see that? And if you look at the particular tumblers online, they are so gorgeous. The label is, um, um, color coordinated with the wax and it's got those bright um, flashes of like snow and lights beautiful cityscape very evocative 
just really of all of them, one of the most gorgeous, I think, to look at. So this is in the country line. And if you're familiar for Kringle, the country line are in the traditional tumblers that look like old Yankee candles. And because of that, they tend to be scented wax. And in this case, scented periwinkle blue. So I have to say, really stunning. Okay, so scent. Gosh, interesting. So immediately what you get is very fresh, maybe some fruit, um, maybe even a little bit of, um, maybe a soft floral, but I would say fresh and clean is the top notes of what it is that you smell. And this is one of those so well mixed scents that no particular um, fragrance or scent ingredient is standing out more than another one it becomes almost its own thing something else entirely and i can tell you that it's it communicates itself it expresses itself as mainly fresh and bright in fact if you were to close your eyes and you didn't know about the branding you would probably say that this is a spring candle okay so the notes that kringle gives us top notes cinnamon clove aromatic lavender I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not picking up a whole lot of cinnamon and clove. And if they are there, super soft. Those are not shy spices. And if they're here, they must be here in very small measure. Um, mid, this is what I picked up on. Rueberry, I'm sorry, rueberry. Rhubarb, blackberry, dewberry, which I'm not familiar with, but it's a berry. Geranium and nutmeg. And then the bottom is cypress, fir balsam, cedarwood, and then something I'm not familiar with, labdanum. Um, not sure what that is, and I'm sure I should have looked that up before I communicated this. Okay, so obviously they are um, basing this as a holiday candle based on the cinnamon clove and then on the bottom cypress fir balsam. But to be honest, all of those elements are very subtle. You'd have to smell for a real, well, you do get a tiny bit of pine underneath everything. It's a little bit of pine, but it's a very soft not aggressive kind of pine, yes? And so I would say that the top notes are very fresh, very bright, and they're saying that those are rhubarb, rhubarb blackberry, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, um, and rhubarb is kind of a, it's an interesting smell, and I'm definitely smelling the rhubarb in here. It's not jammy per se. I would say it's like rhubarb forward, maybe. Um, and there is some soft pine underneath. Um, for me, it's maybe a little too fresh for winter. Definitely a January burn um, rather than Christmas time. This is like a January time in the city. Um, depending upon what city you are, maybe fresh. But for me personally, this is definitely a January burn, if not later than January. And it's gorgeous and it's special. And you love those transitional kind of scents. This is one of them. I went ahead and picked this up in the Black Friday sale. And I did get one of the medium tumblers that are the most heavily discounted. I'm going to put the link below. Um, and it was like $10 for one of those medium tumblers. So fantastic price. Highly recommend. Christmas in the city. Okay, so we're going to turn to another kind of bluish candle here, upside down. Bavarian Christmas. And as you can see, another really gorgeous, gorgeous color. This is a little bit of more of a deep periwinkle and it's a country alpine scene there, perfect for Bavarian Christmas. This is a Kringle candle, which means that it is white wax and it's gonna come in the more modern tumblers rather than the Yankee ones. Um, okay, so really beautiful. The label is gorgeous in and of itself. Um, also, I should mention that they have a three wick small one, kind of like the Bath and Body Works ones. And it has like a wrap around of like this blue knit pattern. It's really pretty. So pretty candle. Okay, so scent. This is gonna be polarizing. My friend smelled this and loved it. And she was in Germany for some time. And so I wonder if she's a little bit affected by that. Maybe this is a German thing. Maybe she's just really nostalgic for Germany. I don't know. She loved it. And I think there are gonna be people who love it. It is a very strong, aggressive experience smelling this candle. And it's hard to know what it is that you're really smelling. There is something that's a little bit like bright, sharp, citrusy. And then there's like this weird um, base grounding scent. And frankly, I'm not kind of loving it. It's not bready. 
it's I, I honestly it's really hard to put your finger on maybe a little bit of floral I don't know so here are the notes from Kringle and I want you to listen carefully because it's a lot okay buckle in tight top notes cedar wood cashmere iris fresh frost apple lemon folks that's just your top notes mid notes snowdrop champagne sugared pomegranate base notes cedar wood cashmere and iris so cedar mid cashmere and iris is both top notes and base notes um it's duplicated and it's giving a very robust sound for for sure for me i mean even just reading it it was way too confusing and it's it's off-putting. And frankly, the smell for me is confusing and off-putting. There's way too much going on. You've got wood, and then you've got cashmere, fine. Then you have iris, then you have apple and lemon, and then you have snowdrop and champagne and pomegranate, and it's too much. I suspect that it's the cashmere up against the berries and the wood that is and the lemon it's it's just it's the it's the cashmere in with all of it that is really making it a funky smell i think actually if they took the cashmere out then you would have a champagne fruit with a little bit of wood to ground it and it would make more sense to me i think and maybe come through as a more just a scent with a little bit more integrity this is not for me um, but it will be for many people and it is evocative. I think they have a candle called Christmas Market. And for a minute, I thought this was Christmas Market. I'm like, well, I could see if you go into a Christmas Market, there's like a lot of things being sold and it's kind of confusing, but that's like a whole sense. Unfortunately, this is Bavarian Christmas, not Christmas Market. I haven't small Christmas Market. But if you like that kind of like kaleidoscope, hodgepodge of a scent, this is your thing. Um, yeah, I think it smells like a holiday candle. I don't know why, it just does. There you go, Bavarian Christmas. Um, I did not pick up this one, but I know that a lot of people are, and a lot of people are really happy about it. So I would imagine this is kind of like a different strokes for different folks kind of thing. And I might just be an ignorant American and not understand an Ameri uh, German thing. Okay, um, Nativity is the next one, looks like this. This is a country candle, which means, <gasps> You are gonna have bright colored wax, red. <laughs> it's just, it's a really nice red. Um, and the label is red as well. So it's nice. It doesn't blow your mind, but it's nice, okay? So Nativity, again, brand new for 2022. I love the way this one follows Bavarian Christmas. So whereas Bavarian Christmas was like 17 ingredients and like from all over the map, this, Smells like one ingredient that makes sense. <laughs> so when I smelled this, I thought to myself, this is amber, amber with a little bit of amber. Amber, 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 amber. And then if you smell it a little bit more, mm, a little bit of cashmere, a little bit of sandalwood. But again, those things all make sense. This is kind of a one-dimensional candle in a very like positive kind of way, right? And after you smell the 17 dimensional candle, this one just feels really great. Super cozy. So the notes that um, Kringle gives us, sparkling citrus. I'm not getting a whole lot of sparkling or citrus. It's just super cozy. Fresh linen. There you go. Top notes, linen. Mid notes, cozy cashmere, amber wood. There you go. Base, amber, again. <laughs> Sweet toffee and tonka bean. Oh, I love tonka bean too. I am an amber, sandalwood, and cashmere kind of girl. Well, cashmere can be a wild card a little bit. There is no sandalwood in this, but it does say amber wood. So it's not only amber, but it's got kind of a woodiness, which is what is making me think of sandalwood, I think. I love this candle, but I'm gonna, not gonna lie, like those are my scents. Uh, I'll go a long mile for amber wood, for tonka, for sandalwood, for anything that's creamy, etc. And this just gives it all to you, right? Um, it's really similar uh, to smell, and I even smelled it to be sure. Very similar in smell to Yankee Golden Sands candle. 
um, which comes in and out of circulation for Yankee. One of my favorite candles from Yankee, whereas Golden Sands goes a little bit more tropical, a little bit more creamy, etc. This one goes a little bit more cozy with the cashmere, right? Right on the end of it, kind of in a nuanced way. It goes more cozy, goes more dry, which is why this is kind of like a Golden Sands for like January, February, and I love it. That said, I think this is a branding miss. Um, this is a January and February candle. Like who is wanting, I mean, most people are just not wanting cashmere and amber at Christmas time, um, as lovely as that is, because Christmas has like a certain kind of feel to it. Um, but branding it so Christmassy, calling it nativity, that makes it unlikely that you're gonna reach for it in January, when, which is when you should be reaching for it, or maybe even February, or maybe March. And they've got so many of those like cozy home kind of like um, names, you know, and they've got knitted blanket, et cetera, et cetera. This is definitely like a knitted blanket kind of scent. And I don't know why it's being branded as nativity. I think it's a little bit of a misnomer. Um, Cause if this isn't a warm blanket, I don't know what else is. Highly recommend nativity. And it is also on sale for those $10, dollar medium tumblers so check that out so fantastic all right cranberry we've got another red here oh look how pretty that label is now this is a um true kringle candle so we're not gonna have a colored wax we're gonna have a white wax on this one okay um and it's super pretty this i, I want to say this is the only tea light or daylight of all of them that is a holiday from last year. So this is 2021 and I just wasn't aware of it and or didn't buy it, didn't smell it. Um, so this is the only one of the seven that we're talking about today that is from last year. And I'm so glad they brought it back because I am loving Cranberry. Okay, so this is a jammy, a jammy candle. And I'm not a gourmand person, but I, I do love a jammy candle every now and then, especially I love like the hard um, nut fruits, you know, the seed nut fruits and like figs, etc. So this is a deep jammy kind of um, scent. And I really wish Kringle had done a few more of these for fall because I think that those are really great for fall. Dark jammy. And then there's a top note of something that is sweet. And I thought, I'm like, is it musk? Is it cashmere? Is it, the musk is not really like a, it's something sweet. And then there's like the sweet jammy darkness. So actually the, the jamminess here is kind of more of a dark note. So the top notes given here by Kringle are juicy orange and bright raspberry. I'm not getting... A whole lot of citrus here and if it's there it's very dry and it's very subtle mid notes sparkling cranberry frosted juniper berry that may be giving it a, it's a little bit of its dark depth and then base sugared pine sweet vanilla so okay there's maybe the top notes is that sweet vanilla which is what i was associating with like musk and cashmere i think Oh, I love it, I love it. And it is a sugared pine. So this is a sweet, sweet candle, but because it has these dark notes in it, it just really grounds it and also amplifies it as well. I love this candle. Cranberry, please pick it up. This was in one of their like new special limited edition three wick like Bath and Body Works style candles that had the wraparounds with various different holiday designs. So they were definitely like featuring this one a little bit this year and it is fantastic. I would say that this is kind of like a super sweet, um, fruity, jammy thing, but it has a little bit of like maybe masculine intrigue and that has to do, I think, with the juniper and the pine coming in a little bit, but it's not, it's not so strong that you would only associate it with, say, Christmas, okay? Um, I love this one. This one can be burned equally well in December, but think about it maybe being burned in February. Like, how great would that be? You've still got the red, so the red goes well with February. And like I said, it's not so strongly 
holiday in terms of its scent experience that you couldn't bring that out for Valentine's Day before and after. Love it. Cran Mary, and I did go ahead and pick up one of those as well, although I don't think it's discounted quite as steeply as some of the other ones. Okay, so now we have holly and mistletoe. Look how pretty that is. And we've got a country candle here, so we are gonna have colored wax, and sure enough, green wax. I mean, it's not like a gorgeous green, but it's a green, it's a green. And once again, the label is coordinated with it. So you're gonna have a real green moment. And you know what? That is perfectly apropos because when you smell this baby, it is green, 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 green. <laughs> if you had one word to describe this scent, it is green. This is a very fresh botanical scent, not necessarily floral, botanical. So think like vines, freshly growing vines, freshly cut stems, etc. This is green all the way. Um, so for me, it's not a winter candle um, because I really want to burn this in the spring. It's just too vibrant. It's too fresh. It's too dewy. It's too green for it to be like a true like holiday or winter kind of scent. This this smells like freshly freshly grown spring. Oh, things are starting to come out of the ground and I can smell them right here. So the scents that um, Kringle gives us top, winter berries, red currant, black pepper. I do usually like currant. Again, it goes into that jammy thing and it's got winter berries, but this is not a jammy or berry fragrance. It's just not. And I don't spell anything spicy like pepperish. Mid notes, blackberry vines. There you go. Blackberry vines, fir needles, maybe rose thorns. It's it's this is a stem vine kind of um, scent. Base notes, earthy greens and rhubarb patch. Okay, you can even just tell from the notes that this is definitely at least a transitional scent, if not a true spring scent. I love this for spring. Um, there's no berries, there's no spice, there's no pepper, there's no pine, there's not enough of them to make this a holiday scent. And therefore, I think this is again, another major marketing misstep because with the color green here and with that label, you are just not inclined, you're not disposed to reach for that candle when it's springtime and you want a spring candle. It's just not, it's not branded that way. And unfortunately the scent itself is that way. So if you can close your eyes or put this in a place that's not so prominently visible and burn this baby in the spring, it is gonna be gorgeous, I think. I went ahead and got one of these because it's one of the ones that is steeply discounted at $10 for that medium tumbler. And I'm gonna burn it in the spring because it's great. <laughs> okay, we've got two more. We've got two more. I know this is a lot. Um, second to last, sandalwood and cade. Look at that baby, okay? Sandalwood and cade, brand new for holiday. And I don't know if you can tell from this particular, it's got some metallic there. It's a very conceptual tree and pine cones, and it is classy. Man, the branding on this is classy, sophisticated, subtle. I mean, it is everything, it is everything. And in the wraparound, like three wick, this is a Kringle, by the way, so it's just white wax. In the Kringle wraparound with the um, three wick Bath and Body Works style, it's like this color of like this muted slate baby blue, right? And then it has all these conceptual like white pine cones painted around it and it is beautiful. This is one of those candles that you would just think about buying, especially if you had a decor that matches that. Um, but just you would buy it for the very look of it because it's, it's really classy, expensive looking. Um, so, I mean, this looks like it's made for January, right? That's a January thing where you kind of are done with the red, you're done with the green, you're done with all of the bold. You want something clean for New Year's. You've got the snow outside. Man, 
beautiful. All right, so unfortunately, <laughs> this is this is not a subtle scent. Man, you open it up and you're just like, whoa. Okay, so Cade, from what I can tell, is a wood. And it's actually juniper wood. But this is not like a juniper berry, fresh, green, um, leafy juniper. This is like the wood sap itself, I think. So what you have is wood on wood. Sandalwood, again, has some elements that are kind of creamy and vanilla-like, but they've just taken like the wood aspect of sandalwood and the wood aspect of Cade and put those together. And you're they've cut wood with wood. And guess what? That means it's wood. <laughs> it's just a lot of wood. It's not soft, it's not cozy, it's not feminine. And kind of with the branding here, you would expect something like kind of cashmere-like. No, it is not soft, it is not feminine, it is not cashmere-like. It's assertive wood. It's like maybe a freshly hewn wood, like wood shop. And there is something vaguely like pipe slash tobacco-like about it. And I don't know why that is, but it's hard to pick up any kind of sandalwood except for if it's a wood. So the top notes that Kringle give is chilled eucalyptus, fresh thyme, white pine. I'm not getting any eucalyptus. Believe me, I've got a nose for it because I don't love eucalyptus. Mid notes, apple leaf, warm cinnamon, fir balsam, base, cozy sandalwood, forest oak moss, and musk. I mean, it just seems like it would be a very nuanced candle and when you smell it, it's not a nuanced experience. The only thing that I can hope is that when it's burned, something comes out there that is fantastic. Um, it's extremely masculine scent, extremely, despite the branding. Um, it's not cologne -y, it's just masculine because it's just, it's just straight up wood, that's it. <laughs> Nothing more here to see. Um, I kind of doubt there's gonna be a lot of takers on this one personally. It's very specific, it's very bold. It's almost a little overwhelmingly so, um, so it's super niche. I, I like woodiness, so I'm gonna burn it. I didn't buy another one. Um, I'm not mad at it, but I, I do think that it probably needs a little something else. Um, okay, last but not least, and I know we've gone so long, Away in a Manger, my friends. This is the winner. This is the winner right here, Away in a Manger. This is a Kringle candle, so it's gonna be white wax. Um, but they do have a wrap around that is all these colors here and it's so beautiful it's so beautiful these are unexpected colors for christmas and they just work really well um gorgeous this is a super religious themed candle kringle does not shy away from that um i don't love it and i'm like a fine christian woman i i i wouldn't mind a more of a generic branding on this one um and if you're not religious it might be a little bit of a turnoff or not something that you would get and you would be missing out because, oh my gosh, this is an incredible scent. Well mixed, but when you smell it, you're getting citrus right off. Citrus, fruit, maybe a little bit of lemon. There's something else in it that is like amplifying, that's in, it's, it's, it's opening it up, it's giving it nuance. It's like vaguely spicy. I thought warm, maybe floral. I wasn't entirely sure. And let me tell you something, I am not a citrus girl. When it says citrus, I'm like, ah, eh, no, walk the other way. So for me to love this candle, this tells you it's super, super, super special. Um, the top notes that Kringle gives, juicy orange, mint leaf, and lemon. And then the mid notes are clove bud, rose, cinnamon, and nutmeg. That's where I'm getting the spice and the rose for a little bit of floral. And then the bottom, ah, oh, my favorites, musk, vanilla, cashmere woods. And they are there and they are mixed so well. I don't know that I would put or think to put, no, I guess I would, a musk or a sandalwood or a cream with a citrus because my favorite candles like Golden Sands from Yankee and like Pink Sands, they do exactly the same thing and they do it so well. So forget that, scratch that. It's so special. All right, so this candle we owe to another candle blogger, Melanie from Mr. Kong's Mom. And I'm gonna put the link for her review underneath here. 
Um, she is in production with Kringle right now to make her own collab scent for uh, Yankee or for Kringle, um, Freudian slip. And um, she wants like a, she's a gourmand person. So she wants like an orange pomander, I don't know what, for holidays. So they sent her several different candles to test as possibilities. And she passed on many of them and passed on this one because she was after something a little bit different. But she wrote to Kringle and said, I'm gonna pass on this, but it is special. And I really think you need to do something with it. And they did. Oh my gosh, Melanie, thank you so much. You are the best because you are not wrong. This is a special candle. And honestly, when she gave the review and said what it was, I thought to myself, you know, it may be special, but it's citrus and I'm just not that kind of girl. I got the tea the daylight and I thought, meh, you know. Oh man, the minute I smelled it, this is everything. I went ahead and picked this one up and it's not even that steeply discounted, um, but I just, I had to have it. Um, it's an incredible scent because of the citrus, because of the cashmere, because of the vanilla and musk, because of the rose, etc. You could literally, I'm sorry, you could literally burn this at any time, at any season. I mean, this is an all season candle on, in addition to it being incredible, which is what makes me even more upset about the branding, which is so religious and so specific to Christmas. Away in a manger. Are you gonna pull that out in May, in June, in September? No, who would? Even if like they were religious and they loved Christmas, like it's just not. They needed to like brand this in a much more generic way. Even if they had made it like joy to the world, right? Or Christmas morning. I feel like that would be really great because of with the citrus and everything, right? Even if they had made it like warm hearts or uh, even like Christmas in July or something like that, you know? Because then you would feel okay like burning it in July. <laughs> but they have really locked it in to be a specific time and this candle, this scent does not want to be locked in. It does not and it does not deserve to be locked into a very limited burn cycle. Um, please buy Owena Manger, and I would really love to lobby um, Kringle to bring this back with a different branding and make it one of their like real vanguard scents. It's incredible. All right, I apologize. I know this was a super long video, but we had seven amazing candles to talk about. I want you to go and I want you to buy some of them, many of them, all of them. I have to really hand it to Kringle. I really do. This was a special, special line. Um, yeah. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to all of you. I am going to review the three Mercury limited editions that I also picked up at the same time from Kringle, but that'll be a separate video. I hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving. Happy Black Friday shopping. Thanks so much.